Uh, I'm just now putting this together, Arthur, but we never once addressed the offensive line over the offseason. You think that's a problem? Uh, not really. I really believe in Jalen Mayfield and Caleb McGarry, Chris Lindstrom, all of them. I think they're going to be great. And you never got a quarterback over the offseason. <laughs> Coach, you benched me one time, but I think now you really believe in me. Mariota, what's up, man? We're going to compete for that starting quarterback spot. How you feeling, man? Damn it. What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. So in this video, we're going to go over, can Jalen Mayfield improve at all in 2022? Because his rookie season was rough. <laughs> Uh, let's just say that. It was laughable. It was, uh, I don't know if this is a word, but it was memeable. Like, everyone just made memes of Jalen Mayfield. And I even admit that I'm one of the people that would joke around about Jalen Mayfield, whether it be on Twitter or in the intro to my videos. Sometimes I would joke around. Uh, but I will say, while I did joke around at times, deep down inside, I'm also like, he's not seriously going to be as bad as he was going forward in the NFL. So my answer to can Jalen Mayfield improve in 2022 is yes. And um, before I get into, you know, why he could improve, I will kind of say that I really don't think it was all Jalen Mayfield's fault for why he didn't have a good rookie season. Uh, and, you know, the first excuse is for one thing, it was his first year in the NFL. Of course, he's not going to know it all. But two, um, with all due respect, he didn't really have a great surrounding core to work with. It's not like Matt Hennessy and Drew Dahlman did that much better than him at center. And it's not like Caleb McGarry was the best tackle for us, like, you know, throughout his career in the NFL. And he had a first year head coach. It's not like he's going to know 100% of what he's doing. Like, yeah, you know, he made the Falcons overachieve last year, but he still didn't know 100% of what he was doing. So it's not all Jalen Mayfield's fault here. Um, and, you know, I, I will say again, while the most important thing for Jalen Mayfield is to do what literally every other human being has to do in their life in order to improve in their career is to learn and take action and work hard, work smart, all that good stuff. It is up to Jalen Mayfield if he wants to improve. It's just like everyone else. If they want to be good at what they want to do, they just simply have to take action, learn, and do all that good stuff. But there are two other optimistic things to go over um, as to why I really do feel Jalen Mayfield could have a good 2022. And it's really plain and simple. It's not like I have to go over it for that long. For one thing, I think he really cares about this job. He's obviously going to work really hard to make it happen and make sure he improves. And two, I think he's got a great surrounding core to work with. And again, it's pretty short and simple. I, like, it's not really this long explanation. Uh, for one thing, I'm not going to act like I know Jalen Mayfield all that well. In fact, I don't know him at all. I just, I, I know of him, but I don't know him personally. But um, assuming that he worked really hard in college to get to the NFL, I mean, he's literally getting paid millions to play in front of a bunch of people. I'm going to take a good guess and say the NFL was his dream job. And if this is his dream job, especially at a young age, I don't think he's seriously going to look at this and say, eh, I think I'm okay. I don't think I need to improve. Really? That, that just doesn't happen. Nobody seriously plays bad and then just says I think I'm okay like that just doesn't happen name an NFL player that was so freaking bad in year one and then they just stayed terrible it the year after like that either rarely happens or just never really does Peyton Manning horrible in his rookie season but especially you know at getting his dream job at a young age I don't think he looked at it and was like yeah, I think I'm okay. I don't think I need to improve. No, he instead improved and just became one of the best players of all time. And let's look at a Falcon, for example. Marlon Davidson. I would argue he had an even worse rookie season than Jalen Mayfield. But he improved in year two because he's like, uh, yeah, I got to the NFL. I think I want to improve. It's pretty simple. Like, Jalen Mayfield wants to improve. It, like, I don't think the Falcons would want to work with someone that doesn't want to improve. Uh, so that's just one thing. But two, I think he's got a great surrounding core to work with. Now, do I wish that the Falcons addressed offensive line a little bit 
in free agency. Like, I wish they maybe got, like, a veteran guard to coach him up. Uh, you know, they, they honestly kind of didn't really even do anything about this offensive line, except for getting Justin Schaefer, I guess. But he's not going to start over Jalen Mayfield. I guess you could argue that he's kind of like the monkey on Jalen's back, and it kind of pressures him into being better so... Justin Schaefer doesn't take his starting job, I guess. But other than that, they didn't do anything about the offensive line. But um, I think there is a lot of great uh, people to work with for Jalen Mayfield. I think he's in a good situation. For one thing, he is around a very young roster. So everyone's kind of got the same goal to improve and get better. It, like he's around the same people that have the same goal. And He's got great players around him, like Jake Matthews at tackle. He could learn some more tips and tricks on the offensive line. Chris Lindstrom is a great guard to work with, and he literally just got his fifth-year option, so you think maybe he should learn from him. Uh, and then he's got a great head coach. I already made a video going over why I believe in Arthur Smith, but uh, long story short, basically Arthur Smith has a history of turning careers around in the NFL. Like Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry and uh, Cordero Patterson. So who's to say that he can't turn Jalen Mayfield's career around? Plus, he's got a lot of, you know, experience. Uh, well, not a lot of experience at head coach, but he got the whole, you know, getting his feet wet thing done. Like he got year one of, eh, you know, I'm a first year head coach. Let, let's just kind of figure out what I'm doing. Like that part's done. Now it's kind of like, okay, well, now I'm in year two. It's time to improve. And I think that he's going to do that. Um... And I really do think he's got a great surrounding core to work with. It's pretty simple for Jalen Mayfield. I don't have a lot to say. I just, I really do think he's got a great surrounding core to work with. And if Jalen Mayfield really cared about the NFL, you will see him improve. And I really do think he's going to improve. No one just stays bad. It just doesn't happen. Name one person that cares about their job and they just stay terrible like they did the first time they started. Now, does it sometimes take a little while to develop to become the person they want to be? Sure, but they don't stay the way they are. It just doesn't happen unless they don't care. <laughs> uh, I could go on and on about that, but that's really all I got to say. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys with a video this Tuesday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. Love and appreciate you all for the support, and as always, Rez up.